This course gives a great overview of the ways in which economists think about the decisions and the choices made by patients and providers in low income countries. For example, why do uh, families choose to go to the clinics or not? Why do they choose to enroll in health insurance schemes or not? Why do providers prescribe unnecessary treatments and antibiotics? And so by understanding what motivates them, what are the incentives that drive these decisions, we will be able to understand and inform the policies that can be implemented by governments in these settings to address the main problems they face. So this course is both theoretical and empirical. So on the theory side of things, students are going to learn about the main theories that are used by economists to think about all of these problems. And on the empirical side of things, they will have to read and learn about really interesting studies that have been done on these topics. And they will also be able to uh, know better how to analyze and interpret the results of such studies. So I think there are a couple of aspects that are interesting in this course. The first one is that we go through a lot of economic theories from the more standard ones to the more recent one. Uh, so using and drawing from behavioral economics, which uh, gets a lot of students excited. And the combination of the theory and the uh, empirical sides of uh, these studies is also something that students really appreciate because often we uh, either have courses that are more theory driven or more uh, focusing on the empirical side of things and this is one that is trying to bring the two together. This course is really anchored in the real world. We start by highlighting the many challenges faced by governments in low and middle income settings and then throughout the course by analyzing the decisions of patients or providers we really try to inform the policies that can be chosen by these governments to address these problems. 